in Wisconsin, young girls were forced off their volleyball teams because they felt uncomfortable sharing a locker room with biological males. When the school district was asked about their transgender athlete policy, they said that they crafted it according to your Title IX interpretation. Mr. Secretary, what consequences will female students face if they do not want to share a locker room with a biological male under your Title IX rule? Thank you for that question. Uh, schools have the responsibility to make sure all students feel safe, uh, including using the bathrooms. And as a lifelong educator, these are decisions that I've had to make as a school principal, as a district leader. So well, I'm I so glad that you brought up that you're concerned about the safety of students. But the Title IX rule and the guidance that you are putting out, that you've been putting out for three years, is taking away the safety of our daughters in their private spaces, in their locker rooms and showers, and taking away their um, athletic and educational opportunities. Girls in Wisconsin and West Virginia refused, and they were kicked off their teams. These schools are basing their decisions on your rule. This is happening because of you and Joe Biden. So, Mr. Secretary, in the health education class, if a teacher says that men cannot become pregnant and then a student goes to the Title IX coordinator and says he's uncomfortable that the health teacher insists men can't get pregnant, what should the Title IX coordinator say? I'd be happy to refer that question to the Office for Civil Rights to provide guidance. And I can tell you that in our Title IX uh, rules that we recently put out, there's more guidance that goes along with it. I'm, I'd welcome an opportunity for my team to work with your constituents to make sure that the implementation of Title IX. But uh, what I want to know is in biology class, if the health teacher or the health class, if the teacher says that men cannot get pregnant and someone reports that to the Title IX coordinator, what should the Title IX coordinator say? Because you are in charge. Right, and, and I'd be very happy to have uh, your, your constituents get support to make sure that their Title IX coordinators have information. We've provided a plethora of technical assistance, and we're going to continue to support regardless what, what of would you say? Republicans or Democrats. What would you say? Should that teacher get in trouble? I, I don't want to comment on hypotheticals without enough information, but okay. what I will tell you that I respect there are different opinions across the country, and we're okay. committed to supporting schools. So you respect a health teacher or a biology teacher <laughs> saying that a, a biological male cannot get pregnant. You are recognizing biological sex, but in athletics, you are wiping out biological sex and going with gender identity. So I want to know, gender identity is not defined in your rule. Can you give me the official g definition of gender identity? So I think the statement you said was inaccurate. We have not released our uh, Title IX athletics rules. Those Actually, are you have for three years. You've been putting out Title IX guidance rules. I brought them with, um, as you can see, and it does have to do with athletic teams. So moving on, could you please tell me what the official definition of gender identity is? We're in the uh, rulemaking process for athletics. As you know, that was submitted maybe nine months after uh, the proposed rule for Title IX. So we're in the process of listening to 140,000 comments. Well, you're th which have the different schools opinions. are being threatened to have their federal funding pulled a court because they're afraid of the consequences, the real world consequences of your Title IX rule and your guidance that you have put out. I do want to know <laughs> what would you say to a female athlete who would have won a gold medal but it was now is getting a silver medal because a biological male took it. As I said, Congresswoman, our athletics rules have not been finalized, and I'd be happy to work with whomever okay. you want our team to work with to well, help I understand Well, I do have to Title say you are not protecting everyone. I'm here to protect girls and to stand up for families and parents across the country that are outraged over this. You are not protecting girls. You are making a choice. You're choosing boys over girls, you are satisfied with letting the girl take the silver medal while the boy, biological boy, takes the gold. You are going to be remembered as the education secretary under Joe Biden who erased girls' sports for an entire generation. You should withdraw your Title IX rule or resign.